Hi, this is Marco Diaz. Welcome to this course. This course is the companion course to our character design course, in which students are taught how to design a character and prepare it for animation. In this course, you will learn how to take your Adobe Illustrator file and rig it so you can later animate it easily. What will you learn in this course? Well, simply put, you will learn how to rig a character inside After Effects. You will be able to set forward kinematics so you can move your character easily without having to draw each frame. And then you will learn how to set up inverse kinematics and the huge difference between both explained in detail, forward kinematics and inverse kinematics. Two basic concepts that some people don't clearly understand. Then, after you have the inverse kinematic set up and all your character connected, I will teach you how to set up replacement animation. Replacement animation is a technique in which you can change, for example, the mouth of your character to express different phonemes. So then you can add some lip sync. Every step is explained in detail. And I also take the time to tell you why we do the things we are doing. So you will always know what we're doing, why, and to what outcome. Nice. The end result you will be achieving during the next couple of tutorials will be this rig. You can see that I can easily move the character, change the position of the feet, the hands, you see? I can even make him dance super easily. You see? Right on. I can rotate his torso a bit so I can express different body language poses. You can apply the concepts you learn in the body language course. I can change to the different hands. You see? Super easy. And I can also change to the different mouths. You see? For the lip sync. Nice. You will learn how to do all of this, how to have this character rigged like this. Okay. But before starting with the first lesson, I want to explain some concepts you need to understand because I will use them very frequently. The first concept is replacement animation. Replacement animation is exactly this. The ability to change an image, like the mouth, to another image, another mouth, replacing the contents of that object. Okay, nice. The next concept is pre-comps. If you're new to After Effects, then you might not know what pre-comps are. Pre-comps stand for pre-compositions. These are compositions inside another composition. For example, the mouth layer is a pre-composition. You can tell because of the icon. If I double click on it, it opens that composition. And inside that composition, you can see the sequence of all the mouths that are there to which we can change, you see? Okay, another concept is, well, not actually a concept, it's a shortcut. A shortcut that I will use and you will see me doing a lot is the back quote key. The back quote key is the key just below the escape key and before the number one. If you press it when you have your mouse hovering above a panel, that panel expands to fill up the screen. For example, the timeline. You see? To return, I press the back quote key again and I can expand the composition panel. So, if you see that some panels magically expand to fill the screen, you will know that I'm just using the back quote key. Okay? I recommend you use it too to have some space when you are working on a single panel that requires no other panels. Maybe you can be arranging objects in the composition panel and you don't need all the other panels to be showing and expanding that panel can make it super comfortable to work. Nice. Another shortcut I use a lot is the shift forward slash. That makes the screen fit the composition screen. For example, if I zoom in, uh, I'm zooming in by scrolling with the mouse wheel and then use the space bar to pan through the screen, I can restore the view by pressing 
shift forward slash. There, you see? Okay, I will be using those shortcuts a lot. Now, let's get it started, shall we? If you want to follow along, you can download the project files. Just click on the button that says download project files and you will be prompted to download them to your computer. Okay, now, starting from the next lesson, we will learn how to import your Illustrator file into After Effects. And for those of you who don't have After Effects installed, I will show you how to download it along with the super useful plugin that we will be using during the entire course, Duik version 15. Right on! See you on the next lesson.